Hello, this is Don Tincher, and thanks for watching the Wayne County Sports Report on WCTV. The big news to begin the week was that Richmond and Centerville advanced to the LaPel Girls Golf Regional after finishing the top two spots at the Richmond sectional at the Elks Country Club on Monday. It was a great day, yeah, I mean, we, we need to find another score, uh, you know, our, our, our fifth, uh, Emma, she probably did what was uh, expected of her, but we got to get Priya playing a little better. She gets the ball way too well to shoot the score she shot if we want to get to where we want to get to, you know, and our goal is to get to the state. Yeah. Centerville's Alex Goodwin survived one playoff hole against Union County's Peyton Gilman to end a day as the medalist. Both had a 79 after 18 holes. Well, last year I tied for sectional like medalist and I lost in my <laughs> second like hole of the playoff. So, you know, this year I was just like more relaxed and like whatever happens, happens. And I just pulled through and made I knew I had to make that one and I was already planning on the next hole because I thought she was going to make it. But. Yeah. It happens, right? Yeah, it does happen. <laughs> Richmond rounded out the top five individually with Hannah Steerly, Lauren Freeman, and Isabella Roll. Lauren Lacey of Northeastern had an 89 to earn a spot in Saturday's regional as an individual as she had the top score among the, all the non-qualifying teams. Moving on to football from last Friday, Richmond celebrated homecoming as the Red Devils posted a 19-0 victory on Leibolt Field over Indianapolis Tech. I've been proud of the kids. It's, like I said, man, sometimes it just feels like it never ends. When you're in a rut like that and you're trying and you're working and you're working and you're pushing and you're pushing, um, sometimes it's like, man, are we ever going to do this? And if you feel it as a coach, or I know the kids feel it too, you know, so I mean, it's finally uh, to get that monkey off the back, man, is hopefully we can now ride that little momentum and, and say, hey, this feels good. Let's try to do this again. <laughs> yeah. Also last Friday, Centerville, Hagerstown, and Northeastern all won. Northeastern is 5-0 and after beating Union City 67-14 as Knights quarterback Blake Waters threw for seven touchdowns with five going to Logan White. Um, I thought last night we executed really well, especially in the first half offensively. Um, Union City did a nice job. Uh, they kind of loaded up the box a little bit against our run game. and. Um, it, it, made Blake have to, have to make throws out in space, and, and he did. Um, threw for seven touchdown passes, so they we were kind of taking what they gave us. Um, but we know we have to run the ball much better, um, especially in a game like this week where it's going to probably come down to um, the, the fourth quarter and, and who can control the clock and control the line of scrimmage. Centerville also remains unbeaten after a 42 to nothing win over Tri High with the highlight of the contest being a 97 yard fumble return by Colson Campbell. Yeah, Tri is really well coached. Um, we knew they were going to be a really good football team. They're always physical. They play a physical brand of uh, football. Um, and you know, we came out and we got off to a hot start. Aiden Holscher broke a long run. Our offensive line played incredible and, and we were able to really get the running game going all night. Uh, defense pitched a shutout. Uh, Colson Campbell had a 97 yard strip sack fumble recovery that he took for it in for a touchdown. So uh, we just had a lot of big plays and, and just kind of carried that momentum through the night. Hagerstown picked up Miami Valley Christian Academy of Ohio last week after Lincoln was forced to cancel due to injuries. The Tigers didn't miss a beat in their homecoming affair as they defeated the Lions 41 to nothing. Lowell Berger had a pair of touchdowns and Peyton Meyer had 13 tackles. Saturday's highlight from local college sports was IU East men's and women's cross country teams both winning the Midway Invitational. Milan Nottum won the men's race with a time of 25-18.64 as a result, he was named the River States Conference Runner of the Week. Overall, it was a fun weekend of local sports. Again, thanks for watching the Wayne County Sports Report on WCTV. Please make sure to check out the Wayne County Sports Report on PressRoomPass.com for all the upcoming schedules and results.